Welcome to Fantastic Vision. Please subscribe us before you watch today's video. Each unit costs $400 million and weighs 180 tons. The world's most advanced lithography machine has finally unveiled its mystery. On May 27, 2025, CCTV's camera was aimed at a behemoth, which is currently the world's most advanced lithography machine, high NAEUV Extreme Ultraviolet Lithography Machine. This giant lithography machine, which needs to be disassembled into 250 independent cargo boxes and transported by seven Boeing 747s, has attracted many chip manufacturers in the world to compete for it. Although they are scrambling to order it, only three top chip manufacturers have taken the lead. What is the deep meaning of CCTV reporting on this world-leading lithography machine at this time? What is so outstanding about this lithography machine? The world's most advanced lithography machine. The lithography machine is called the crown jewel of the semiconductor industry. To take the lead in the chip industry, advanced lithography machines are indispensable, and extreme ultraviolet light is the pioneer technology of chip manufacturing. This $400 million device projects circuit patterns onto silicon wafers using extreme ultraviolet light with a wavelength of only 13.5 nanometers. In a chip space the size of a fingernail, Tens of billions of transistors need to be precisely carved, and the size of each transistor is only one thousandth the size of a virus. This precision requirement cannot be achieved by ordinary light sources. In order to achieve this extreme precision, scientists have developed a technology that uses lasers to bombard liquid tin targets tens of thousands of times per second to stimulate extreme ultraviolet light. Since this light can even be absorbed by air, the entire photolithography process must be carried out in a vacuum environment, just like completing the microsurgery of chip manufacturing in space. Interestingly, even with such advanced technology, Global chip giants are extremely cautious. At present, only five high NA EUV lithography machines have been delivered in the world. Intel, TSMC, and Samsung have each gained something. When asked whether the technology will be used in the next generation A14 process, TSMC's technical director admitted, we have not found enough reasons to prove the necessity of this huge investment. In addition, the sky-high price of nearly 400 million US dollars per device is more than twice that of traditional equipment, which requires the wealthy chip giants to calculate the cost-effectiveness. Among the five devices planned to be produced in the Netherlands, three major chip giants, Intel, TSMC and Samsung, were respectively settled. Behind this abnormal distribution, it also reflects the direct intervention of the United States in its desire to regain the dominance of chip manufacturing. The deep meaning behind CCTV's reporting of this device at this time is self-evident. Chip competition among major powers today, Lithography machines have become the core battlefield of technological competition among major powers. Due to the extremely high technical threshold, ASML is the only company in the world that can produce EUV lithography machines, forming an absolute monopoly. In recent years, the US government has repeatedly pressured the Netherlands to restrict ASML from exporting EUV lithography machines to China. The tightening of policies at the beginning of 2025 directly led to a 13% plunge in ASML stock price, a general decline in chip stocks, and a turbulent global semiconductor market. Faced with technological blockades, China's lithography machine industry chain is quietly breaking through. In addition, 
CCTV's report also focused on the progress of domestic lithography technology. Shanghai Microelectronics has become the only complete machine manufacturer in China that can produce high-end front-end lithography machines. Its 90-nanometer lithography machine has been mass-produced and applied, and 28-nanometer technology has entered the final sprint stage. In specific fields such as power semiconductors and analog chips, domestic equipment has supported the actual production line operation. In the field of key materials, Jingrui Electric Materials has successfully developed photoresists for 7 nanometer processes, and Nanjing University of Science and Technologies RF photoresist has passed customer certification. In March 2025, the Chinese Academy of Sciences announced a breakthrough in all solid state deep ultraviolet light source technology, abandoning the traditional gas laser method and using YB. YAG crystal amplifiers to generate lasers, which reduced the size of the equipment by 30% and reduced energy consumption by 50%. In theory, it can support the manufacturing of 3 nanometer chips. As early as 2020, China issued the several policies to promote the high-quality development of the integrated circuit industry in the new era which clearly supported the development of the local chip industry chain. CCTV's high-profile display of the world's most advanced lithography machine is not only a popularization of the current state of the industry, but also a spur to independent innovation. When China broadens its horizons, technological blockades in the history of semiconductors often become catalysts for innovation. In the 1970s, Japan's Ministry of International Trade and Industry organized five major companies, including Hitachi and Mitsubishi, to jointly tackle DRAM technology and eventually broke the U.S. monopoly. When China introduced high-speed rail technology in the early 21st century, Siemens offered a sky-high technology transfer fee which prompted China to independently develop the Fuxing EMU. History has repeatedly proved that technological blockades will only accelerate independent innovation. ASML CEO Peter Wenink once said frankly, Hindering China's development is the most wrong choice, because China can always find a way to break through. When the solid-state, light-source technology of the Chinese Academy of Sciences reduces the size of lithography equipment by 30%, and when Shanghai Microelectronics Packaging Lithography Machine enters the production line, this $400 million behemoth under the CCTV camera is more like a coordinate point in the history of semiconductor evolution. Blocking technology will not stop China from moving forward but will allow China to stride forward on the road of independent innovation. When CCTV focuses on the world's most advanced lithography machine, it also makes China clearly aware of the gap and unswervingly walk on the road of development.